everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Dia and I create lifestyle and health related videos and in today's video we will be talking about what is fiber and why do you need it. So stay tuned. More often than not we do not eat enough fiber as much as our body requires and apart from not eating enough fiber we don't even eat enough of the different types of fiber that our body requires. So in this video, we will be taking a deep dive into what are the kinds of fibers that you need to have, how much fiber do you actually need, and we will discuss some of the food items which have a lot of fiber that you can make use of. First off, what is fiber? Now fiber is the structural component of plants. Okay, so it is present in fruits, in vegetables, in uh, grains, but it is not present in meat fish and poultry. How much fiber do you need in a day? The recommended amount of fiber that you need is 25 to 30 grams per day. Now why do you need different types of fibers? That is because different types of fibers have different functions in your body. For example, certain kinds of fibers um, promote the growth of friendly bacteria which kind of uh, enhance the process of digestion in your body. Then there are certain types of fibers which kind of help you control your hunger and uh, stop you from overeating. What are the different types of fibers? Now fiber can be uh, broadly divided into two types. One is soluble and one is insoluble. Now um, as the name suggests, uh, soluble fiber means that it dissolves in liquid and then it swells up and thickens the liquid which then inside your stomach makes you feel fuller okay this kind of fiber also reduces or rather controls uh, the level of glucose in your body and hence maintains the blood sugar level okay highest concentration of soluble fibers can be found in fruits like apples oranges carrots potatoes oats barley Second type of fiber is insoluble. Insoluble fibers obviously do not dissolve in liquids. They absorb the liquid, okay? And they become bulkier as they facilitate better bowel movements, okay? So this type of fiber can be found in uh, wheat, in rice, uh, bran, uh, corn bran, any kind of whole grains, all right? Now, how would you know if a certain type of fiber is soluble or insoluble. The best way to find out is to boil it in water. Okay, if the water becomes thick, okay, then it is a soluble fiber. But if you're boiling rice, for example, right? Now, when you boil rice, what happens? The water quantity reduces and the rice becomes bigger. Correct? So it actually absorbs all the, uh, most of the water that is there that is an insoluble fiber so this is how you can differentiate between the fiber how can you increase or what are the types of foods that have a lot of fiber um, firstly you can try having uh, whole fruits instead with the skin instead of having like fruit juices you can replace your dessert with uh, cut fruits you can have um, instead of having white rice you can replace that with um, wild rice or brown rice or millet quinoa all of these have high component of fiber okay you can also have 100 percent whole grain uh, food cereals of crackers bread if you're not sure about how much fiber you're getting from your organic food uh, you can also take supplements of fiber but understand one thing that if you cut out organic fiber completely and just have supplemental fiber then that does not really give you all the fiber that you need all right you also need organic fiber there are two very important things to remember when it comes to fiber if you realize that you don't take enough fiber that you're supposed to be taking in a day increase your fiber intake gradually okay because sudden increase in intake in fiber can lead to a lot of gas indigestion and stomach issues next thing is that you need to ensure that you have enough amount of water or fluids juices when you are having a high intake of fiber this helps with the processing of fiber now a lot of you must be thinking oh since fiber kind of makes you feel full and stops you from overeating that means if i keep having fiber um i'll automatically lose a lot of weight 
right? That is correct, okay? But understand one thing, that eating only fiber is going to make you thin, of course, but it's going to make you extremely weak. Therefore, you need to balance your diet with the other four macros as well, which is protein, carbs, fats, vitamins, and minerals, all right? A balanced diet of all of these uh, nutrients is what is going to make you lose weight in a healthy manner. I have done an entire video on this, on how to create a balanced diet for yourself, and I will link it in the description box and put it up in the cards. Please, please, please do have a look at that if you are not sure about how to make a balanced diet. I've also created a downloadable free PDF for you to keep with you to understand what kind of foods gives you the highest quantity of fiber and uh, will keep uh, your hunger at base. So don't forget to check that out in the description box. Having said that, that's all from me for today. I know this was a short one, but I hope this is helpful and you guys are getting something out of um, the resources that I keep leaving in the description box. If there is, If there are any doubts or questions that you have, please feel free to uh, put them in the comments below or get in touch with me on Instagram, uh, whatever works for you guys, all right? If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you know whenever I drop a video and like, share, comment. Bye, I'll see you in the next one.